Happy Valentine's Day! I hope you get to spend it with your significant other or your favorite horror movies. Um, you've either looked forward to this day all year or you've dreaded it all year. Anyways, here are five of my all-time favorite romantic horror movies, including some of my favorite snacks that have something to do with the movie. It can either be a snack that is in the movie, a snack that reminds me of the movie, or anything in between that. Let's do this. Coming in at number five is Bride of Chucky. I friggin' love this film. It's uh, one of my favorites in the franchise. The protagonists are also like literally getting married, you know? It's not just Chucky and Tiffany, it's also the main characters. And I think that's super, super funny. I think that's great. Overall, there's a lot of love around this movie. And in my opinion, if you're talking about love movies, this one cannot be missed. So the snack that I want to combine this movie with is this double chocolate chip cookie. Now why fucking chocolate chip cookies? It's not, it can be a romantic meal, but it's not obviously a romantic meal. Well, there's a scene in the movie where Tiffany is making chocolate chip cookies for Chucky. Cue the clip. I hope you left room for dessert. You know it, Pookie. And the iconic line of fuck Martha Stewart is in this scene, so I mean, come on. Let's do a little tasting here, I got some milk because you can't have chocolate chip. And look at this, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking fit. Why is there just air coming out? I spilled milk all over myself. Mm. One bite will make you want to watch, Bride of Chucky. Let me tell you, it's just damn good, man. Coming in at number four is one of the classics to me, uh, one that got made surprisingly late in my opinion, and that is Valentine. I always thought it was super weird that there was not a movie, a horror movie, slasher, called Valentine, because you already had Halloween and April Fool's Day and all those movies, uh, and obviously you had My Bloody Valentine, but you never had just Valentine. Like, just Halloween and just April Fool's Day, you know? This is one of my all-time favorites. I love to watch this one around February, the season of love, you know? You can't go wrong with Valentine, in my opinion. This is a great scream influence slasher, but I think it works really well. So the snack that I picked for this movie is Oreo Strawberry Cheesecake. Why? I have no fucking clue, but when I saw this, I was like, this is Valentine. This Product screams Valentine 2001. Mm. That's just real good. Coming in at number three is gonna be the all time classic, you know what movie I'm talking about, My Bloody Valentine. This is a classic. This one is great. This is awesome. I love this one. Yeah, this is one of the all time greatest slashers and a true classic in my book, for which. I chose a very classic romantic snack. This is a healthy one, just to mix things up, I know, but strawberries. Um, I love strawberries, strawberries are awesome. Mm, that'll make you want to watch My Bloody Valentine, let me assure you. Alright, and now on number two is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. I love this film, I talk about this film all the time on my channel. And that's Frankenhooker. This movie is a romantic horror classic to me. It's, it's a rom horror classic in my book. It's awesome, but it's kind of a sad one. You have this protagonist and his girlfriend sadly dies in an accident with a lawnmower. Don't ask me how that would work in real life, but that happens. So it's a heartbreaker. And for that... Oh no! Ah, I'm such a fucking idiot. I wasn't recording my audio. Anyway, now it's recording, so I'm sorry about that. That was a heartbreaking mistake in my YouTube career. We're gonna eat heartbreakers and cry over Frank Knocker because it's sad as fuck. Coming in at number one, again, in no particular order, so this isn't my favorite of these five, but My Bloody Valentine 3D. Uh, I know this movie gets some trash, and people think it's trash, but I always had a sweet spot for it, so I'm gonna feed my sweet tooth with a marshmallow donut. And my god, this thing is insanely good. Mm. 
I interviewed the writer of this film, Todd Farmer. So that's maybe a big reason why it's one of my favorites. But before I interviewed him, I already loved this film. So thank you guys so much for watching. In my outro, you will see my most recent upload as well as an upload recommended just for you. So check it out right now.